My name is Andrew Aziz, and I'm uh, part of the Group 8 in Engineering 202. Uh, our group was the piezoelectric uh, energy generator, and uh, we focused on creating and improving alternative energy sources for large infrastructure mainly, um, which includes arenas, um, skyscraper buildings, anywhere that uses a lot of electricity. Um, by creating this concept or this product, um, the first thing we needed to do was identify the customer needs. Um, by interviewing stakeholders mainly, um, we ranked the importance of certain customer needs. Some of our stakeholders included um, the owners of large infrastructure, which some were uh, team, sport team uh, owners, which owned the, the stadium arenas, uh, piezoelectric companies that form or create um, different types of discs that, that are used or plates that are used for the piezo um, electric energy um, and then all users of the the energy um, itself so just normal people that attend a sport arena or that work in these large infrastructure uh, buildings and in a way they are the generator themselves um, some of the important customer needs were the ability to hook up to an electrical grid um, or an emergency battery pack, uh, the ability to be scaled up or down to supplement energy of infrastructure. Um, these were given to us by the owner of the building who is responsible for generating the electricity for his or her company, for his or her, um, for his or her building. Um, the significant impact of carbon footprint um, or the emission of CO2 uh, by using these renewable energy or the alternative energy sources uh, the whole focus is to reduce the carbon footprint and that, um, that need was given to us almost by everybody um, because of their, their focus on the long term of our Earth's, uh, you know, pretty much the health of, of Earth and how, how it is sustained um, throughout the years. Um, and then another one uh, that was ranked pretty important was uh, the design of the piezoelectric is aesthetically pleasing or discreet and that is the implement implementation into the building itself and what it looks like in the building um, and, and if it's discreet or not if it's very visible or you know how it affects the user itself hi i'm brandon villagracia and for our group we just we started with the idea of alternative energy and uh, we branched into the five available alternative energy concepts, which were wind, solar, piezoelectric, hydroelectric, and geothermal. Well, my name is Cameron Bray. I'm part of the piezoelectric group. And based on the six selected criteria that we decided on, the different ones that we have are energy storage, which our ranking was 20% of that. And then the next one was energy generation, which consisted of 25% of the overall rating. Durability consisted of 15% overall rating. Ease of installation for their user, which is 10% of the overall rating. And then the final one was portability of the piezo, portability of the desired alternative means of energy, which is 10%. After, after reviewing over all of the six different criteria that we based upon, we decided the, overall, the best overall rating was the piezoelectric electric alternative means of energy and we decided to pursue that out. By establishing target specifications, um, we needed to form metrics or a standard of measurement of those needs. Um, and some of the important ones that had to do with our customer needs for this product was the efficiency of consumers' energy consumption, um, which is the output of energy versus the input, or the output over the input. Um, and that gives us a ratio or a percentage of, of, the, of the energy for, for the piezoelectric uh, generator. And we wanted a very high um, ratio, which means that we're doing the best of being efficient and utilizing all of the, the energy's um, out input by, by the output. And then the max dimension of each, uh, of each, uh, of each product into implementation when we put it into the building, the arena. Um, as you'll see in our design later on, uh, we were, were implementing it into, into small steps, into a staircase. So into a large uh, arena, this product would go into 
the staircase or the walkway, and that's how it would generate the electricity. So my name is Ryan Demarest. I am part of Group 8. I will be going over the testing procedure for us when we are going over our piezoelectric stairs. The experiment that we are going to be doing to measure this will be having someone walk up and down the stairs, which ha will have induce an angular frequency of about 3.14 radians per second to each step, which put into our equation, we should be able to measure the deflection and voltage put off into the uh, load or the circuit. And depending on the numbers that we get, we'll be able to tell how much pressure should be exerted on the step to produce a certain amount of power. My name is Michael Hensley. I'm with Group 8, who is responsible for the piezoelectric staircase project. For this design, we have targeted a facility that, has, that houses a large number of people, such as uh, sports arenas or stadiums. So what we are doing is we are placing piezoelectric pressure plates on stairways, which will then connect to LEDs, which will confirm that current is channeling through them into a battery or the power grid itself, so that the facility can either have an emergency electric system in store, should it be required, or they can use it to simply reduce their electric costs for uh, applying their finances to other locations. Now, we, for our piezoelectric plates, we have decided to use one inch diameter LED discs to be able to take advantage of the stepping area of each person. And to reduce the amount of cost, we put it in the average location where somebody steps. To do this, we took each one inch LED or one inch diameter piezoelectric disc and set them into rectangles of four by eight inches. With this, we are able to have two pairs on each step, which will then allow us to maximize the amount of stepping location for our project. This is the final design for our project as a, as a sum.